got it. All right, are we on, Elizabeth? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so I want to share something with you guys. Um, I do a Bible study in this public charter school in the morning time before school starts, and I have students come, and so it's been pretty amazing. And I want to share with you guys what I share with them because it was such a blessing to me, and I think it'll be a blessing to you guys. So, Elizabeth, come on over here so they can see me. Now, I'm not an artist, but I'm going to draw what I drew for those kiddos um, in the Bible study. And so, there is a scripture verse in Isaiah 26, verse 3, and it says, It says, For us to keep our eyes on Him, on God, and He will keep us in perfect peace. And so, what do we need to do to keep ourselves in perfect peace? Well, the scripture verse tells us what to do. It says to keep our eyes on him. And so, we are all on a path. We're all on a journey. And I'm going to draw just a little path here. There we go. We're on a path, and this is us. Draw a little stick figure here. I know, that's pretty good, isn't it? So, here we are, and we're trying to get to, we're going somewhere. And this right up here represents God. And he says that he'll, if we keep our eyes on him, he'll keep us in perfect peace. So, just keep your eyes right here. But here's the, here's the problem. The Bible says that we will have trials and tribulations. That's inevitable. A lot, of, a lot of people like to try to pray away problems and pray away um, bad things from happening and, and bad things that people do to us, but that's inevitable. Um, so here we go. We got these problems that come up. We got money problems. We got family problems over here. We got health problems over here. We got relationship problems. What else? We got, um, we got fighting problems. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, how about when our children? are fighting so we have all these problems and what's happening is these these problems are screaming at us for our attention it's saying hey look at me look at me pay attention to me pay attention to me look at me well here's the problem God says if we keep our eyes on him he will keep us in perfect peace there'll be joy There'll be knowledge. There'll be direction. Uh, there'll be happiness. There'll be fulfillment when we keep our eyes on Him. Now, if you give these issues over here your attention, then what's happen what will happen is you're going to fall into stress, anxiety, you're going to fall into bitterness, resentment, anger, fear. That's the thing. So when you place your eyes on these problems over here, then what we don't realize is, is that with these problems come all these toxic emotions. And God knows this, which is why he said to keep your eyes on me. Keep your eyes on me. These challenges are going to come. And behind these challenges are these toxic emotions. And these toxic emotions lead to toxic behaviors. And so you may ask, well, how do I keep my eyes on God? We keep our eyes on God by asking the Holy Spirit to help you. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit is our helper. 
He is our helper and he will lead you unto all truth. And this is why it's important to have a personal relationship uh, with the with the Holy Spirit. You can talk to him whenever you want to. It's not where you just go into your prayer closet and bend your knees and, and you're talking to him. No, you can talk to him while you're driving to work. You can talk to him while you're doing the dishes. You can talk to him while you're walking from one place to the next place. It's a personal relationship. There's no formula to it. You just talk. You just talk to him. So when you keep your eyes on him, you say, well, what does that practically look like? On a practical level, well, that means you you can read your Bible. And the good thing about this is that, yeah, these problems may be here, but when you read your Bible, the Bible actually has wisdom and knowledge and understanding and direction on what to do with your children who may be fighting or or with health issues or or with um, relationship problems or with family problems. The Bible has all the answers to these things so God is just saying just keep your eyes on me I got you I'm going to take care of you I have the answers and it's found in my word when you and another way that you keep your eyes on him is through prayer you talk to God in prayer about these things and God will talk to you he may talk to you he may place something on your heart um, he may speak to you through a song he may speak to you through you going to church which, which is another way you can keep your eyes on him going to church and the pastor may be talking and he may give the answer to one of these dilemmas over here. But you don't have to put your eyes on these things. You don't have to focus on them. Because once again, when you focus on these things, um, then you're going to fall into these toxic emotions. Just keep your eyes on God through reading the word, through prayer, ch uh, through church. Talk to your mentor. If you have a mentor, find a, um, a mentor that you can talk to that will help you to keep your eyes on on God, because when you do these things, you're you will be in a place of peace. You're going to be in a place of happiness and knowledge. And now you're in a place where you can hear from God clearly. But when you come over here and and you're focusing on these things and you are um, misaligning yourself and removing yourself from a place of hearing God and, and even seeing God, because you are now falling into into what I would call spiritual or mental quicksand. And you will begin to drown as you keep your eyes on these on um, on these problems over here. So uh, this is what I shared with the with the students. They were eating this stuff up. I was eating this stuff up. And it's so easy to take your eyes off of God um, because of all these issues and problems. But with the help of the Holy Spirit, uh, with the help of the Bible and, and prayer and and even going to a good, non-compromising, uh, Bible-believing church, finding a spiritual mentor who bears fruit, uh, one who loves God and loves his neighbor. When you, when you connect yourself in all these areas, you're keeping your eyes on him, and a solution is going to be revealed to you uh, to these issues over here. Um, and so the beautiful thing is, is that you stay in peace and you find a solution to all these issues. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for listening. I hope you have an amazing night and I pray that your tomorrow is amazing as well and that you have a wonderful weekend. God bless you guys.